When the Victory Fund was first founded in 1991, there were fewer than 50 out LGBTQ elected officials in the U.S. at any level of government. Today, there are 988. But there are only eight out LGBTQ officials serving in statewide elected offices. And two of them join me now. Dana Nessel is the Attorney General of Michigan, and Maura Healy is the Attorney General of Massachusetts. Both welcome to The Sunday Show. Hi, Jonathan. Great to be with you. Great Likewise. You. Okay. So I'm trying to remember, because you, you both are historic, but I'm trying to remember, which one of you is the first out lesbian elected as Attorney General or, or statewide in the nation? Uh, that would be me. I got elected back in 2014, Jonathan. I was a civil rights lawyer in the attorney general's office. I brought and won our state's challenge to the Defense of Marriage Act. And then I ran as a first-time candidate and got elected and was thrilled to see A.G. Nessel join shortly thereafter. Right, because in, in reading in reading the bio, I was tickled. I, I read um, A.G. Nessel's bio. I read yours first, and it said that you were the, you were the second uh, uh, out LGBTQ person elected a AG and the first was AG Healy. But um, AG Nessel uh, in in Michigan, talk about did your sexual orientation even factor in um, your getting elected or maybe, you know, hurting you with voters, if at all? You know what? I, I actually don't think it did, Jonathan. Um, you know, I stuck to the bread and butter issues that I thought were uh, most impactful to people in my state. And those were issues of consumer protection, protecting clean drinking water, uh, ensuring that, uh, you know, sexual predators were, were held accountable. Uh, and I think those were things that resonated with people all across the state. I think a lot of people didn't even know what my sexual orientation was, even though I've made no secret of it. Um, and, you know, I think, I think the thing is, is that we fight incredibly hard on behalf of the LGBTQ community and all marginalized communities, but that's, that's not all we do in this office. Uh, and I think people recognize that. Yeah, um, A.G. A. Healy, um, you know, your, your work on, on marriage equality in Massachusetts, you, meant, you mentioned it, it, it is widely known. So I would, sus I would suspect um, that not, a, not an issue for you either. No, not at all. And in fact, it wasn't really until after the election, Jonathan, and when I won, that I had a different appreciation for it, where a lot of young LGBTQ people came up to me and said, hey, you know, it, it's so it's so great that, that you're elected and, and this gives us hope. And some of their parents would say the same things. But during the race, it really wasn't uh, a factor at all. But I think after it was, I recognize now, looking back, it, it was important um, because seeing is, is believing and representation does matter. Mm -hmm. um, in, in the little bit of time that we have left, uh, A.G. Nessel, you are the attorney general for Michigan. Michigan has been through it over the, the last few years from you know, the storming of, this, of the state capitol to the, the death plot, kidnapping plot uh, against the governor. Um, has that sort of activity continue to pace or has it died down or is it getting worse there in Michigan? Well, I wish I could say that it's getting better, but unfortunately we continue uh, to hear the big lie being circulated. Uh, and, you know, we continue to hear requests for a quote unquote forensic audit, um, similar to what we've seen in Arizona. And even though our own Senate Oversight Committee has come back with the finding that there was no widespread election fraud and actually asking for me to investigate those that are perpetrating that lie. We have continued to see an escalation in terms of, uh, you know, those that wish to harm uh, elected officials in our state and those who wish to uh, suppress democracy. So we have mm -hmm. to fight back as vigorously as possible. Um, because of the breaking news at the top of the hour, we are we are out of out of time. But I really want to thank you both. Attorney General Dana Nessel of Michigan and Maura Healy of Massachusetts. Thank you both very much for coming to the Sunday show.